Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video to say yes, I told you so. Magic cards are not the same as stocks because stocks you can... Number one, there's no one kind of scamming you when you trade or sell stocks online. You click a button and you get your cash. Or you click a button and you get your stock. It's very instantaneous. So there's no loss. Like eBay expects you to as a course of business to be scammed. Now, secondly, um, it's not liquid and things have changed from okay to extremely bad in the vintage market. Uh, I was looking at Card Kingdom's buy list. They are still buying revised dual lands. Anything older, they're not interested in. I mean, it's just a bloodbath. And the reason that Rudy is still interested in buying is he can get them for half of what I can get them for. So when you're buying Lotuses for instead of eight or $9,000 for around 2000 yeah, you will make money on it. So it's not a fair comparison, right? So even though Rudy is buying every vintage card he can get his hands on, that's because he has a wide reach. And because the reach is so wide, he has a lot of desperate people. I think of one of his videos where he sells a bunch of boxes to a subscriber. Subscriber runs out of money and has to sell these same boxes back to Rudy for 10%. Um, yeah, I'll buy those boxes for 10, 20%. So that's why. Vintage, however, I would heavily not suggest buying. Um, I have not... I'm only buying revised dual lands, as I said. I do have some unlimited, and that was a mistake because the price difference is too much. I mean, so store is removing high-end buy list. Uh, Card Kingdom is only buying beta, ancestral, and twister. No other power nine, no duels, no chaos orb. Alpha only buying black lotus and taiga. No other power cards. Unlimited not buying four of the Mox or time walk so um yeah this is a big deal because vintage cards have always been on the buy list and i think too many people are trying to sell even at any price so the key is they took it off completely now does that mean you can't email them and negotiate in private i'm sure that with for the right collection you can negotiate in private a lot of people are very invested in magic cards. And I use the word invested in, you know, in that term where they put their whole life savings in magic cards only to realize they're just pieces of cardboard. Yeah, Alpha Beta is very nice looking pieces of cardboard. But in truth, the cards are just as valuable as someone's willing to pay it. They have no intrinsic value like gold or silver, which can be used to make compute, computer components or something like that. They are just cards. A black lotus is just a piece of cardboard with a picture on it. And I think what actually is shocking is I just was on Card Kingdom and their revised dual lands are not too bad. I mean, yes, they've gone down, but Compared to what happened to Vintage, I absolutely made the... Actually, um, Underground and Sea went up. It's 265 now. I remember it was like 250. Volcanic is 225. Cradle is 220. Oh, man. I'm looking at the prices of these cards, and I don't see... Yeah, Tigus 90 for revised. They're not buying. It's pretty uh, brutal. And definitely, if you own any of these older cards, especially Power 9, I don't know how you're going to move it at this time. It just seems like a very kind of silly exercise. Tundra 125, Bayou 130, Buy Lance 1. I mean, yeah, the revised dual lands are all still fine. And even Wheel of Fortune at 60 is probably, it's not great, but it's not it's not as bad as it possibly could get, right? So let's take a look at beta. Ancestral, Time Twister, Gauntlet, um, 
No, Card Kingdom still has all of its beta. So it looks like they have everything minus the Power 9. And the prices are definitely slashed quite low. And it's really weird to see that for Beta, for instance, they only have Black, or for Alpha, they have Black Lotus and Taiga. They're missing the other eight of the Power 9. They're missing the other nine dual lands, which is pretty crazy that they just want Taiga out of all the dual lands. And then for Beta, uh, for instance, it's just Recall and Time Twister. And the next most expensive card is Gauntlet of Might. But you're missing seven of the Power 9, including the Lotus and the Moxes. And you're missing all 10 dual lands for Beta. So from Alpha and Beta, the only dual lands that they're interested in is Taiga. Which again is pretty crazy given... You know, under, even Underground Sea is not here. Um, that's a little strange. For Unlimited, let's see. Black Lotus, Time Twister, Recall, Jet, Vault, and that's it. So they're missing four of the Power Nine. For Dual Lands, they have Volcanic. They have Underground, Trop, Tundra. I think they have all the Dual Lands for Unlimited. It looks like they got them all. So yeah, um, definitely not a good sign if you are interested in selling magic cards. I'm interested in buying them and I will buy the older stuff too. I always enjoy the older stuff. As long as you realize and that you believe you're going to hold it because you love the game. Not necessarily because you think the cards will go up in value. I really don't think the cards will get there. Uh, anytime soon. This is a very, very volatile market. Um, I bought Beta Lightning Bolt at 250 a pop, and now right now they're buy listing for 80. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to get better than that, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys.